Now I got about two years of service out of the Central Forge drill press vise, using it as a bench vise, and uh, went to Harbor Freight today to replace that with a real bench vise, but I didn't do that. Um, I bought a new vise for my drill press instead, and it's a XY vise. Um, yeah, long story short, I'm going to turn that into a mill. So I <laughs> that's all that first person, but that was a really good catch. I was going to do a little unboxing real quick, but I haven't used this table since I switched all of my grinding stuff over to that little portable table. So uh, yeah, I'm going to clean all this crap off and then get to it. So I'll just tell you right now, the thing I'm most excited about is the fact that I can center the workpiece on the drill. So unfortunately the mounting points sit just outside of the regular table on the drill press, but thankfully I can build a plate. Problem is I have very, very limited V travel here. So I've got the plate placed right here, and I am going to go ahead and continue to use this uh, riser piece for now, but eventually I am going to modify this further, and I'll probably use a different video for that, because this is a lot to put in one video, but um, right now I have the plate set up, I'm going to go ahead and mark out the parts on that table and grind away the little excess, so that way the bolts can sit right, and then I'm going to go ahead and position everything, throw some washers and whatnot on it. All right, so a little tip here when you're drilling holes. Um, I just thought I'd show this because this is quarter inch, it's really thick. And you tend to get these long stringy confetti shavings, which you don't want, because especially if you don't have a guard, that thing's swinging around is razor sharp. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'll show you basically same thing, got it all clamped up. I'm gonna drill a little bit and then back it out. That way the tip of that drill, oops. I start to get that long one and then back it out. That way it's gonna let the tip, tip of that drill cut those strings so they don't have a chance to get too long. Anyways, probably need to upgrade the belt drive in addition to other things. I'm also planning on, not in this video, but possibly taking this thing apart and boring out the uh, spot for the bearing the spindle bearing, that way I can have a heavier duty bearing that's designed to take side load. But that's in a later video. For now, I'm just gonna get the thing functioning. All right, well, I got the thing hooked up, at least ready to go. So what I'm gonna do here is, I don't have an end mill, unfortunately, but I do have a chamfer tool. And I'm wondering if I got it this way. So, I'll lock that in place where it's at. Make sure I know this is, I think this is called a Jacob's chuck. It's just a little three jaw grabby guy, like the standard drill chuck. I uh, probably should change that out for like one of the real call it style spindles. It's like a giant version of the hair tools. gonna be modified though. I'm gonna make this work. This is just test run.
example of something you definitely shouldn't do. Well, the chamfering turned out okay. Um, I didn't even have this machine bolted down. So uh, yeah, don't, uh, don't do that, that's dangerous, but it works okay. I would hardly consider this to be consistent or any sort of like a finish work. I'd probably still go after that with the file. And I could have probably done this same chamfer with an angle grinder in about 14 seconds versus like 30 minutes I think I was on there messing around with it. But it does cut and it's chowdery. It does gouge every so often. It wobbles or like maybe I'll like the, the clamp, like I'll leave the uh, lever in one spot and it'll kind of rotate itself down to the next one. It is very smooth, but that is kind of annoying. So it'll do that. But other than that, for the most part, when I'm real careful, it is consistent. It is same thing like I said at the end I think that was just my mistake though this side however turned out very good it did not go nearly as heavy on that chamfer but I kind of got the hang of it here and uh progress anyways it's a proof of concept I'll definitely get some use out of it and if it's not milling things completely like accurately it's also just going to be putting holes in something on a plate and not having to unbolt it or unclamp it and re you know adjust the thing every time I want to relocate the hole it's really nice to be able to just do that with the clamp so um yeah this thing's going to be handy and um more modifications to come definitely because I'm going to build a stand for it and I'm going to build a uh, braces and everything just to make sure that thing's really good and sturdy and I might even build my own riser system to give me a z-axis but uh that's not you know the real on the it's like a clamp around the tube body. I don't really trust that, but um, there's a lot of things on that drill press that aren't really meant to be a mill. So I'm going to kind of go piece by piece and hopefully modify them and make the thing an actual somewhat well-functioning mill. Um, it's kind of a long shot here, and I also don't really ever do anything that precise, but it would be nice to have a mill. So, um, And I kind of sort of do now. It definitely works at least to put chamfers on things. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, please consider liking and subscribing. Other than that, I hope you have one for the rest of your day. God bless.